Uh, Come on down. Uh, shout out to Joe. Is he's doing everything? Uh, we appreciate you, my guy. All the way up. Yeah, yes. you can scroll Topic, all the way bro. up to trending topics. What's going on? Um, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. And we got 103 on the. Oh, it was on the Uh. We at uh Joe Biden picks Kamala Harris for to be his vice president. Um, first and foremost, shout out to Kamala. No matter if we agree or disagree, if we like her or we don't like her, she's definitely the first, first black, black woman black candidate woman. vice president. She's, a, she's the first uh black woman who was ever on a presidential ticket. Right. Um, yeah. So nope. But yeah, um, shout out to her. Um anything else you wanna add? I mean, uh it's a it's a it's a beautiful thing. Um just just the history of it all. I mean, the, all politics aside, seeing her again, like uh, when we were talking, she's going to be an inspiration to all black women, mm. the black kids growing up, because it's, it's something we hear about Shirley Chisholm, but she hadn't gotten this far, you know, what I mean, to actually be on the ballot. Um, but it's it's history, you know, and you make your decision. I'm not going to sway anybody's decision left or right. You know, what I mean, look at the candidates, look at their policies, look at stuff and you make your decision based off that. But. So, uh, all I'm going to say. What I really want. Yeah. But go, I'm so going to just leave it at that. I like the way you said that. I think it was very tasteful. Um, I do know of some things that she's done that aren't necessarily pro-black. Um, but in hindsight, like Alex said, even if she's not the ideal black woman that we would have chosen to be the vice president, at least there's an opportunity now for a black woman who is the ideal candidate to run. Right. So shout out to uh, Kamala Harris. Um, yeah, we ain't, we ain't gonna touch on anything else. Um, let's get into Boosie. Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Where Mark? Oh, hey, yeah. So let, let me, somebody let's, tell Mark let's Zuckerberg let's that boss the boss. I want my Instagram activated again. Let's let's actually play it for the people. We can we can do this now. We was working on this shit <laughs> for a minute now, right, Alex? So we are gonna play. There we go, there we go. All right, here we go. This is this is what Boosie had to say. Let me, let me, let me go back to it. <laughs> I'm already laughing because it's the way he holds the camera. It's like a child. He has no, Can I play it on your phone? He has no awareness of angles. He's just Mark, Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. I need to get back on Instagram. <laughs> I got just got an email. They say I had... Some sexual content. Play up if I, if I, uh, my bad. If it popped out, it wasn't my fault. But I'm gonna take my lick. They just sent me a thing for me to take a picture with, and my Instagram still ain't back on. I just took my picture. This is my number. What the fuck is this? I'm ready, Mark. I'm ready to get back on. I got, I got people money. I gotta do Instagram drop. Whatever I did, my bad. I need to get back on Instagram. Do sad. not do this to 2020. They just took my Instagram. Oh. He's back again. Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Bosses need to talk to boss. I don't know what I did, but I need my Instagram back. I don't even know what I did. But this is how I feed my family. Mark, do not do this to 2020. Do Damn. not take boost off Instagram. <laughs> Yo, he look hurt. We need though. to talk, Mark. Cause that's his money. Right. So, Damn. What I would say is, it's a it's a pandemic, right? Yeah. A lot of artists can't tour right now. A lot of things that they would normally be doing to get money, they can't. So a lot of these artists are using social media as their form of that's marketing, a fact. as a form of. And Boosie was promoting his OnlyFans on that show. Yeah. Hey, you know what? And hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Boosie has OnlyFans? You ain't know? I didn't know that. No, I did not. But I, I, just I wasn't learned. surprised when he said it. I just wasn't surprised. I was just getting like, ready to Boosie. say, well, why doesn't he go to OnlyFans? Well, Boosie sponsors OnlyFans. I don't think... No, I, know, I, I, don't I understand know what, what you're he's saying. He's OnlyFans. posting explicit right, content of other women. He was trying to promote it on his Instagram. So, this but is... But under Boosie Badass OnlyFans. I used to see the link on Instagram. Like, it says Badass Fishes. So, okay, well, so said. Boosie... Shout out to Boosie because I feel like it's it's good entertainment. So as an influencer on Instagram, like I do understand, like I need 
my page to be running because if I can't make my money, we're going to have a problem. I do feed my family off of Instagram, so I feel him on that one. However, Boosie, not in scene, you tell girls to put their pussy lips on live. For a thousand dollars. For a thousand dollars. So you know that you was out of line. However, you apologize to Mark Zuckerberger. Shout out to Mark Zuckerberg. Um, and, and, and I feel like in his defense, like Cardi B was just on Instagram last night. It was like, you know, y'all need to stop sucking these niggas dicks. You yeah. know, like, like literally was walling it. Like, and granted, like, I ain't judge, like, whatever. But it's still like people talking about it, bro. Like, yeah, the people don't like, come on. Like, the it's kind of like, is, what is it? It's kind of like what? He's pimping on Instagram. It's not like what? He's pimping on Instagram. The. The right, but the thing is, he's actually doing it. Like Cardi B is talking about it. He's actually having girls show their pussy lips on Instagram. So we saw this. This isn't isn't new, something nothing new. We seen uh Tory Lanez get suspended, right? For yeah. like for a day. Violating or something. the community guidelines. Right. So it ain't nothing like it ain't like he's picking on Boosie. Right. The thing about it is it's like <sighs> It's like Boosie, are you gonna do it again? Cause you did it and then you got deactivated, then you did it again. Are you gonna do it again? And then it's like, can he is he gonna still be able to feed his family the same? If he's not posting that type Facts. of content, do we want to hear from Boosie if he's not talking ignorant I, shit? No, ignorant that's is. what it how is. We, we're, I mean, we're we all tuned in. Up, how do we feel about Instagram basically being niggas' bosses now and having the ability? I mean, they created it; they could do whatever they want. I mean, I almost feel like at Instagram. a regular, at a, well, not I'm not even gonna say regular at any job. If you go against the guidelines, go against the guidelines, <laughs> you're out of there. It doesn't it's matter how rap. great you are at create the job. Create your own none Facebook, that. Instagram. Exactly. I'm gonna need right. Let's create a black owned social media platform where Boosie can wall out and we can tune in. Because I want to tune in. I right. tune so in. So Miss Grant, we about to start that joint up. What you say? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Let's go back to back pages or something like that, you know? Where Black Planet. Yeah, Where's I mean, Black Planet? I mean, we ain't subscribed Black to Black Planet. We didn't subscribe Black to Black Page. That's the thing. When Black we page. come out with something, I'm Black talking page. to my color folks. Black Page. And actually support it. We need to support it. So when Miss Greenway, because she's going to create it, because you came up with the idea, okay. create the Black Social Black Media page. page. Black Page. The Black nah, Page. Nah, I don't like that. We're going to change the name. Okay, stuff, okay. But Let's support it. Going to support I don't it. like that. Yeah, <laughs> like, see, black people can never just fucking agree. You think, that, uh, you think black every person. white person was like, I don't oh, like yeah. That. I don't like the name, Instagram. though. Instagram. <laughs> like, I'm right. sure somebody was I don't like, like the name, Instagram. Though. What does that mean? I'm pretty yeah. sure we said Facebook. Niggas like, what? That's so Yeah, like Facebook. Shit. Like, my face. Why? That's stupid. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, but. um, Black so page. What, why, why do we care? Well, it is taking money from him. But yeah. I, I asked the question is. If we know that, if he knows that, that's the rules and regulations. Yeah. And you talking about your money, it's like you're fucking your own money up. It's not Mark Zuckerberg. I almost think that he, I almost think he'd be fucking his own money up though. Also, if he stopped posting the content he's posting. I don't know, Boosie. He like maybe you just tone it down, Boosie. But first, he got to get back activated. Can he? Mm. Like we talking about? Can he? That, now, I mean, if that's that's this him. is off topic, but what exactly got Tory Lanez deactivated? Like because what did he, he had do? girls on there wilding. But shaking like ass. when you say wildin', shaking ass, I said no, feel like no, 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 porn no. shit all over the like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like putting their pussy okay. lips yeah. on Instagram. Yeah, okay. Like almost like I don't know if y'all ever heard of I said wow, all my New York niggas know about him. He had like twenty five to a hundred pages because he was wildin'. So like So then why don't they create something where well didn't they don't they already have the thing where it's like viewer discretion, explicit content? No? That's actually dope. I like that that when you can like push it, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or if you're under a certain age, you can't tap it. But I guess it's like it's like we don't promote that, so we're not gonna put that on our page. I guess, but it's like why would you promote the other shit? Because sometimes be killings and shit, and be like, right? Yeah. So that's a great point. Double standard. We know why, but anyways, I ain't gonna get into that. Okay. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Let's get into this um NFL shit. Uh, we're talking about fucking up a bag. Fucking up a big bag. Yep. Go ahead. Over the what? Fucking up the, the bag. power of the pussy. The wop. That's the, the conversation. The right power there. of the but it's powerful. Let's not act like it's not. I mean, people have died over it. And people, people will died. keep continue to die over it. And kill people over will it. kill over it, die over and it, change over <laughs> it. <laughs> change over it. <laughs> change over it. And compromise and clean over, over it. it. Like, and get the cussed power out over it. Of the wop. <laughs> the, the wet wop. ass pussy. Well, no. Cause, well. I mean, yeah. Does everyone have WAP? Is that a thing? That's impossible. Sudden, That's like saying, do. oh, yeah, every nigga got good oh, so, dick. Oh, like, so yeah, all right. All of a sudden, they do. If I see that caption on one more bitch, <laughs> like, I'm about somebody to said, of it. Somebody said, about it. I seen, I was on Twitter, oh. and Carlos Miller, he had retweeted someone that was like, 
everybody's talking about WAP, but it, I don't hear no songs about no da, no no DAP dry, dry ass pussy. No. Okay. <laughs> the dry, I know exactly. What's up with the dry ass pussy? What's Y'all don't want to talk about that, that though. Start that that uh, if, 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 that BB pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like that DJ pussy. Like, <laughs> yeah. God, you know the old cars uh, where you gotta like you gotta, you gotta rev it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> talking about the so party. wait, I feel like for men, I feel like. Is it the same? So I know, like, for women, like, if we fucking nigga with, like, either a little dick or it was just, like, horrible sex, it's like we want to almost, like, forget about it. Like, we, it's, no, like, it's we're like you sick. feel disgusted. You feel disgusted. You like, you feel. Shower, like... Is that how y'all records, feel? Records, if we go back to previous podcasts, like you apparently the body, ca- <laughs> body don't count. Right. So, the body don't count. Unless, oh, <laughs> unless you are uh, so what? what about you're how, orgasm. If you're so an orgasm, about the body don't count. Them, uh, women who are saying basically if you don't have a wet ass pussy it's because your nigga ain't doing something right i mean what i will say to answer the question first right then to go to that i don't like honestly for me like i just feel like <laughs> i don't know like i got a girlfriend one right you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna always be you know what i'm saying making an extra wetty you know what i'm saying because like i'm down there you know what i'm saying but so like i don't really have those issues like, so I, don't I don't understand that because i feel like it's a mental thing. Like, I don't need too much foreplay to get wet. But I know, like, some people feel like they can't, like, get stimulated unless they're all the way there. Like, they can't get wet. I personally don't know that. But I do know someone who told me, like, that they can't get wet after they um, um, orgasm. Yeah, the first time. Yeah, there's, like, the it's, so she even went to a doctor. And it's, like, she's tried all these different things and she can't do it. So I you think... So I guess dry ass pussy is a is well you guys said dry ass pussy is a real thing. Yeah. So apparently whoever this NFL player, uh Kemma Siverin, is that am I saying his name right? Seahawks cornerback. Um apparently rookie, by the way. Just so okay, a rookie, a rookie. So not even league didn't even start yet. Um apparently he was after some wet ass pussy because he tried to Clearly. sneak in a female visitor into the team hotel With when the what when they were under uh the reg- bubble. covid regulations yeah nfl bubble um and he violated uh whatever guidelines he and he it? and so okay so he <laughs> he snuck the woman in by disguising her in seahawks uniform attire which is funny but at the same time i think it's clever um i want to know who snitched no here's what so first of all I saw a picture of the person. She wasn't going to get paid. <laughs> but on another note, I want to give him, like, the benefit of the doubt because he's a rookie and he came from college, right? So I felt like he thought this was college and it wasn't a <laughs> visitation, right? And he was like, you know, we all been there. You got to sneak the joint in after visitation hours and figure it out. You fucked up your bag, though, in the process, and this ain't college anymore. I'm sure he doesn't think it was worth it. I mean, maybe. Fuck the big bag up. (laughs) And just in seriousness of COVID, I mean, they probably took, it's not no slap on the wrist this time because at the end of the day, you're jeopardizing a lot of people Well, he he also jeopardized a lot of people's livelihoods by doing that. But let's not, let hold up. Let's rewind it back. Not just his own. Let's rewind it back. We all then did some dumb shit for the pussy okay, one and hold up okay. and, and and potentially catch and, age and woman <laughs> this point this is the same thing as covid dumb things done hiv I COVID, mean, they're yeah. treating covid like hiv these days so <laughs> apparently at this point, it could be it could be transmitted <clears throat> right so what else and semen and apparently oh, hell nah. feces, apparently so they say the best way right now is to <laughs> use your hand Whoa. right so let's not kill this guy because we, we've all done dumb shit for the pussy and i'm pretty sure a woman have gotten dumb have done done shit because they wanted to give up the pussy. So he dressed her up as a Seahawks player. The as a team staff. Okay, yeah, so team I'm staff. A, I'm gonna be real with y'all, okay? Because you know we're gonna have a little real time. So I used to deal with um this NFL player, and what's his name? <laughs> so I don't want to say his name because I my boyfriend was an NFL player at the time, and I was cheating on him with another NFL player. So they were no so, no. No, so, we not no, gonna let it go. No, 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 let it go. No, we no. don't have to say nothing. Let it go. No, you know, let it go. No, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> no, let it, let it go. So, okay. Accountability. No, we don't. <laughs> I'm just okay. gonna say okay how I that? think they may have gotten to this extreme. So, the my boyfriend played here, you know. So for the Redskins. Yes, he played for the Redskins. The guy What's that his I was, name. 
ah, don't do this to me today. Cause I don't know if he, I, I never got caught. Well, they got into a fight during the game and he asked me, is there anything I need to tell him after the game? And I was like, so Google no. all the fights from like, Redskin, you please. remember <laughs> this, you remember this. And I was like, what? I was like, I know you did not blow my spot up like that. You are petty. Anyway. So the guy that I was cheating on him with, he played <laughs> for the away team. What team was it? My did favorite team. Did they <laughs> Shout out to the Vikings. Huh? Did they win? Who won? That's the real question. Who so, won that game? My boy. NFL fights between so, Vikings and Ah, don't you dare. Okay, so look, so let me just <laughs> tell you guys. <laughs> can I get to the point? God damn. See how we be feeling. Okay, <laughs> so she knows. You know what happened. Say the shit. Okay, so look, so the guy who played for the away team, he the game was home. The Vikings. Yes. They were coming to DC. So um Apparently, you can't have, well, you have a curfew. And so he was staying at the hotel and he booked a room in my name so that, you know, he could sneak out of his room and come to my room and we could kick it. Now, do more than kick it. Come on. No, we didn't have sex. We didn't have sex. I'll admit that we had sex, but we didn't have sex that night. So, so, so listen, but, but the chemistry (laughs) was, hold on, listen, because the chemistry was so strong, I could see how we got to that point. Like, it was on some like, uh, just- some Mission Impossible shit. Like, I was like, oh, shit. Like, I'm going to get caught. I'm going to get caught. I'm going to get caught. This and he was exciting, off his, like- yeah, like, oh, I got to see her. I got to see her. <laughs> so, well, we actually, well, yeah. Okay, so, anyway, I didn't know that you could get a fine. I think the fine was like, I want to say it was like $10,000, something around that range. I can't remember exactly. But the reason I found out is because we're laying down, we're kicking it, we're watching a movie, we're he he he. Next thing you know, he looked like he saw a ghost. He jumped out of his skin and was like, oh my God, what time is it? And I'm like, oh, it's 11. He's like, fuck. So I'm like, what? He's like, I'll be right back. I got to get into my room. Like, I'll be back, I promise. So I'm like, okay. Then when he comes back, he's like, yo, you know, we get a, a fine of X, Y, Z if we're not in our room by curfew. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, you dumb ass nigga, there is no way in hell that I'm going to risk getting a fine just so that I can lay up in some fucking hotel with some girl. So the chemistry was really strong, though, and I feel like I see how we got there. I don't think it was, like, necessarily we were like, oh, yeah, let's fuck up the bag. I think it was more so, like, we couldn't – it was no self – it was a lack of self-control. Now, to Alex's point, the kid is young, you know, college – college, control Yeah, college – you party all night with all the girls. I get it. So I'm not going to, like, judge this guy. I feel like he deserves another chance. Um, now, granted, when we was doing what we do, was doing, there was no, like, COVID. COVID. So right. I get that. But I don't think they were thinking, like, oh, we're going to put people's right. lives in danger. And I think the point, like, so, like, they, since they shut down whole countries and whole states and whole th- that's where it gets a little more serious for COVID. Because, like, at the end of the day, like, at that time, like you said, it was no COVID around. But when they're shutting down whole countries and Nike is shutting down all these major corporations, Disney shuts down, like, they're going to, like, they're kind of like, we don't have to give you a second chance because this is a seriousness to the nation, to the country. Yeah. Like at this point. So it's like, why would we do that? Like, so I'm you not going to lie. So I, I was, don't judge him. I was contemplating. But, I was contemplating a couple of weeks ago on sneaking the, into the NBA bubble. That's the. I was. I was contemplating it. And, you know, I'm older. So I thought about it. And I'm like, that's stupid. But I, I was on the brink of. Her, like, I was going to do get it. In trouble? Like, no. Because, sure like, no, because, but like, I was, you know, I was like, like, you get in trouble in some places, you get a fine for not wearing a mask. Yeah. So when you do that with the NFL, I'm sure there's some penalties or some stipulations. The penalty like, is your nigga lost the bag. The biggest, <laughs> I think the biggest takeaway from this is how we are so selfish. It's different from having sex with somebody with, unprotected because you're choosing your life, right? With Corona, it's like, it's so easily spread that when you bring somebody in the bubble, you're all, you're ultimately like give Almost Chances, everybody has the quarantine. Everybody yeah. to now give it, right? Everybody and then, has the quarantine. And so what if I got COVID tested before I snuck in and I was free? They don't know that. They don't know that. No, I know. I can prove it. That's yeah, responsible. So what I will say is that's responsible and respectful, <laughs> but but the fact the matter is like, yo, we have these guidelines for a reason. And if you yeah. fuck this up for yourself, you're not only potentially fucking up for yourself, you're fucking it up yeah. for everybody that's in the bubble one and then the entire nation because if everybody in the bubble got a... Uh, but do you get cut for that? Yes, because listen, if you bring somebody in one person, it only takes one person, and everybody has to quarantine, Mm -hmm. you're fucking it up for the entire nation. And we all know how important football is to our nation, like our beautiful nation. We all understand how important it is, right? Mm -hmm. Of course you're going to get cut. Like, that's dumb. Like, it's not even worth it. Because now you're being selfish, and you're just not thinking. 
Yeah. Russell just had a whole new I kid. still was contemplating it, and I'm like, yeah, I, I feel you, though. Like, yeah, it's, but he's so young. Like, Aww. oh. He's so young. I think he deserves another chance. Right the yeah, game, if the, C- if the Seahawks out. ever see this, give my man another chance. No, I definitely because, think he should get another chance. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's, he, I mean, I'm not going to say he didn't know any better, but like, damn, like nobody got hurt. <laughs> Everybody's okay. Give the man another chance. Man, let's, let's, let's get into this 6 9 shit. 6 9 back to flexing. Oh, Lord. 6 9 flexing again. Such flexing a cornball. For the gram. I feel like we had this conversation so many times. I don't even know what to say. It's like, yo, just he hasn't learned anything, and I don't want to wish nothing bad on nobody. But it's crazy because just like how we said, like you know, that the football player was young. I remember at a time I would say that Russell Sherman, like he's young, he doesn't know no better. You but have experience like, now. Yeah, you know better. You were in Rikers, like, my man. Even like if you were in much, PC, you were in Rikers. But like, well, how, how much more of a, how people many got? Times do you want to risk your people life, got though. no. <laughs> just like we <laughs> talked about jeopardizing others' lives and how people are selfish. You have gotten, you got people sent away from their families for years. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it going to take for you to be like, damn, like, maybe I should not do, go about right. it this way. Right, right. That's a fact. No, nah, I think, um, you know, it's unfortunate because I, I will. Well, let's take, say what he did. Oh, so he went to, he went to, uh, Chicago, was it? He went LA. to LA. He was in Crenshaw. LA. Um, and. Try to go to the marathon store. Right. He flexing. But it was close. And Nipsey's Nipsey mural. Yeah. Hey, this is for Nipsey. He'd be proud of me. You know. First of all, that's extremely disrespectful because we all know that Nipsey lost his life because behind of standing snitch. on yeah. because of a snitch behind standing on the real street code principles, principles yeah. and morals yeah. that you do not associate with snitches. So for a a, a well known snitch to go to his mural and say he would be proud of him, first of all, just off that, like nigga, you need <laughs> you need your ass beat. Mm. I, I, I think um the fact that. Like, yeah, he went to Crenshaw, and he, it's like, it's nothing new, right? Because we did it before when he went to Chicago. The thing I don't like about it is, like, at one point, just to be honest, I kind of wanted him to learn. Like, I, I would have hoped that, like, he got out and really changed his life away, and changed his life around him. Like, yo, that was the bad thing. that I shouldn't have did that, and you guys shouldn't do it. But the fact that he's not doing that, yeah, yeah, and some some sort of it is entertaining, but I'm past that. I don't think it's entertaining. Yeah, I say like I'm past. At first it was, it's but I'm past You're just it trolling. now. The trolling it's isn't corny. entertaining. Like, yeah, corny. and it's like, bro, like you're putting your own self at You know what I just thought about? Risk. I'm thinking like, who in the hell is even enabling this man to keep doing this? Because he is like always number one, and and even after the snitching, he came out was number one. But I have to remember that kids. It's kids that are supporting this. My head. daughter, no, they love like trolls. trolls. They what? love yeah. trolls. It's because. And when we were in New York, yeah, they loved Amaya trolls. tried to cut trolls on in Mike's truck, and he was like, uh, we can't play that. Not yeah. She was like, please. He was like, we can't no, play can't, that. Not kids, here. And they don't understand. <laughs> they don't understand. They just love the song. And that's yeah. the innocence. And it's that's crazy. The innocence. That's the innocence. But why he's doing it, it, you said the kids what? I said I don't know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the kids don't know any better. The, yeah, they don't. Then the thing about it is, it's like, it's keep happening because money really isn't the root of all evil anymore. We know that. It's, it's attention. Clout. Right. Attention. So he's getting Vanity. the attention. So that's why he continues to do it because that's what's getting him the attention, which eventually is getting him the bag. So it's like, why would he stop other than because you want to keep your life and you want to be safe, but because he's done it before, he might think he could continue to do it because li- literally but nothing really happened. Let's be real. That's with most people. A lot of the times, sometimes it's almost a bad thing that you got away with what you got away with because you didn't learn, and you will try it again. It's like a kid. If they get away with something, they're going to try it again. And that, and I want it, well, kind of to segue away from that, to take away, because I don't even want to give him no attention no more. The real, I feel like he's getting rewarded for what he did. Mm. And I feel like Schmurder, like when Bobby Schmurder comes out, he stood on 10. He, he took the charge. He did his time. He didn't. We all know. I feel like he should be getting that but you know what's well, crazy let's hope he does the and, shock I mean, we'll the, the shock to me is that if he does get the attention that it will be surprising to me that's i think so too because i because, no, because i think a lot of people like honestly it's not too many real niggas like right. most people they they're they're you know they're and, not a, they just have no morals and, and principles on that that the real niggas don't get the shine though the they real, don't the real niggas it's been plenty of niggas that took time for their their mans and, and nobody cares i mean and, i could speak from experience, you know, my child's father, he had opportunities to, to rap and he, he wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, it was tempting. I mean, we have a family, you know, he didn't do it. So I cannot respect people that do it because it's like, all right, I've witnessed somebody 
literally give their life away and they were offered a better situation. Now, did he participate in it? That's up for debate. We know 6 9 was participating in this shit too, but it's like, it's not even about the participation at this point. At this point, it's about your morals. Like, I don't even understand how this man sleeps that night. Like, honestly, I couldn't be mad at my daughter's father because I'm like, you a real nigga. It's 2020. They offered you a better situation to give up some, and you didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like all the people that he didn't tell on, they're nowhere to be found. They're, they're not putting money on his books. They don't call. They don't do anything for my daughter. So it's like it wouldn't surprise me. You're right, because most people aren't real. They're not solid. Right. So it's like the fact that he's coming home really? and, and if Lord. he does, if he does get the love, right, it'll be it'll be like, damn, that's dope because he deserve it. Right? Well, I mean, shout but out to you know thug. what? Shout to say, to to say what you said thug. earlier, though, real niggas don't seek recognition. Mm. And I can respect that. Facts. But shout out to Young Thug, because I, I think I did see him say that he's going to take care of Smurda when he comes out of Roddy Rock. And I believe him. And I mean, yeah, no, nah, shout out to Thug. Yo, um, six, nine, he just got to he got chill. But I mean, he's he's, he's got to. I mean, but it, it shows right. And I was going to ask you this. When it comes to second chances, right? So, granted, it can go either way, right? But we were just talking about the guy on the football team for the Seahawks. It's like we want him to get a second chance. We give him a second chance for him to br- try to bring a, a girl in there again, and now everybody get COVID, yeah. right? And it's like situations like 6 9 fucks it up for the people for that everybody. will learn from their mistakes, right? Yeah. And I think that's the biggest takeaway from it. It's like, yo, we can't keep allowing these things to happen, but it's like at the same time, how do we not allow it to happen? Because we right. want to give people second chances, right? Right. And I mean, I don't know. That's just it's a fine line. Bro. I yeah. think, but I think, you know what? I think in a situation like that, he didn't really, it really wasn't his, it, he was already on like chance three or four when all that stuff happened. That wasn't the first time that he had been in a situation where he done got people in trouble and he faded to black. Oh, that's a fact. Well, uh, we're going to just pray for 6 9 <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Hey.